person named Pringle I've run into recently. Somehow. I just realized I've beaten like two video games this year. Which, I mean, it's April. That's really not probably like a flex, but when you're working full time and going to grad school full time, I think that's that's impressive for me. I'll you're take it. Good. I'll take it. Alright, we sit through the entire credits or are we gonna move on? Well, there's more, but I don't, I don't okay. know. I can't skip this. So I guess that's, I could do that today if I feel like streaming some more. Hmm. Um, what happens after the credits? But I'm not gonna say. I will say, anybody currently watching the stream is gonna get an update on what I'm playing next. Which, honestly, I don't know if it'll be a surprise based off current events. <laughs> um, but. Trying to pull up my, my stream manager for Twitch. It's such a 90s logo. I love it. It's also, it's awful, but I love it. It is very of its time. Yeah, it's it's the grunge for me. Now look at that masterpiece. <laughs> nice kid for that. Looking like the poop smith as a child. From Homestar Runner. Oh, okay. All right. Get your clear data going, girl. Absolutely. We're going to put it right at the tip top. End. Okay. All right. Aww. Gather forever. So, yeah, I wonder what this... I guess I kind of hate that this was so, like, anticlimactic because it's like, well, wait, do they, like... What happens now? Yeah, like, do they still need Cocoon Masters? What the hell? I still can, like... Oh, let me get my thoughts together. True purification, right? Mm -hmm. I also can't remember if that means, like, the forest is saved now, or... I went now. I did. Okay. I'm just... Alright, so we're gonna have to... Reset the system and load... Fully. Yeah. Wow. I guess. They might not have been able to do that back then. I don't know. This was PS1, so... You can crank the... Who's that back up? I can't believe I should beat that freaking game. I'm kind of mad I didn't do it last weekend. <laughs> it's always something, actually. I know. Because I was like, I feel like I'm at the level to do this, though. Because I didn't do awful. It was literally just because I was down a mini and I lost. Right. The one man you needed. Okay, so the arena battle stage is something we haven't been able to explore yet because you have to get the game first. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I could be totally wrong about this. Welcome, Welcome to the, the arena, arena of space and time. time. Did y'all kill the chief? Where is he at? You're literally sitting on his throne. I am We ate him. We ate him. I preside over oh. this arena and serve as witness to victory or defeat. This is where victory is decided by combat between the battle-hardened minions of the dawn and the sunset. What? What does that mean? Please, show us the fruits of your long and hard training. No. I am Ra. I am in charge of advancement and management here at the arena. Let us begin by registering your minions. That's my stuff. I can't like all our prayers, our prayers are with, are with you. you. Welcome to the arena of space and time. Here are the minions of the dawn, player one, and the minions of the sunset, player two, fight each other using creatures captured during the main game. What? Each player can select up to three. You win once you defeat all the enemies or when your opponent gives up. You can play it easy on the uh, record. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I have to load the end data. This, this wasn't quite right. I guess that's just a cute little mode, like, especially for the, the time where... Yeah, 
<clears throat> yeah, that's a a local co-op with your your sibling at home. Yeah. I am a Nagi prophet. I see the future through the words of God. Is this game close? Oh, we the. Is it? I don't know. I missed the beginning of this game. Oh yeah, I forgot you totally weren't with me like, the first <laughs> week or two. That's the word I know. This is where your true abilities shall be tested. Time to die. We will help you prepare for your journey. Another one? I just want to go home. I <clears throat> am Ra. Whenever you... Yeah, we know you. I am Ra. We know what you do. Please, do not hesitate. Alright. Now, now you, you must, must pass, pass through the... Please. All right, tell me to be careful, all that good stuff. You certainly didn't set a trap. So, is the Kumari gate the other gate over here? I think, maybe. Kumari. You can't <laughs> <laughs> I fully used up all those Tendai Uyuku, so I don't need them. <laughs> You'll be fine. Huh. That's a word for hallway. Wow, fully. Oh! I ran far enough and just spat me back out. Okay. I never tried to go down there before. The rest of the world is gone. You no longer need it, Levant. You beat your dad's ass down that way. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't understand why he was the chosen one of darkness, because he literally left for good reasons. So does all that mean? I think maybe they should have called it the dawn and the sunset instead of good and evil. Hmm. True darkness, Levant. Heart darkness, heart darkness, heart oh darkness, heart darkness. Oh. Is this the eternal Look at that guy, she's in charge of the stream, doesn't even know where she is. <laughs> so, what's for dinner? <laughs> yeah, you, you beat up that knot turtle. Uh, darling, if you may steal one of your jokes, dinner tonight shall be sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I really don't understand the point of the eternal corridor. Could be one of those things where uh, the further you get, the better your reward, and so on and so forth. I know you gotta fight a lot. Kind of like the Sears <laughs> Tower and um, Pierce ID. Well, the only thing about this is I didn't realize it was a whole dungeon. Like, I don't... That's oh, wow, snake. yeah, it's just repetitive. Oh! So it's the eternal corridor because you've got to kill everything before you go to the next screen. I wonder if I can go backwards but I can't go forwards until I defeat everything, maybe. <laughs> Miracles have been on my to know! <laughs> What's for dinner? Well, we're having bread sandwiches. That's where you take three slices of bread and mash them all together with your hands. Foul. You don't ball it up, you smash them flat. It's like a Eucharist, but not. <laughs> Hello to all the last Baptists out there. 
Solidarity. Mm. <laughs> Choices. No. So yeah, I wonder if I'm not gonna fight that thing again. Let's see what happens. Say cheers you now, that's what you think. <laughs> Dang. All right, Palooja. Oh my God. Oh, what? Looking it like a cool. Digimon out here. All right. Uh... It's a weasel with wings. Like it? That's a cool design. I dig it. Definitely memorable. Catch it. Oh, wait, can I do that? They don't have a level, so I feel like this is a boss. <gasps> Good God. Honestly, I'm proud of it. That was pretty cool. I'm not even mad about it. That weasel can go right to hell. Well, this is also a bad move because he's both weak and strong to this guy. And he has no water moves, so I'm just gonna have to smack him in the face. Oh, alright, that works. <laughs> yes! Yes! Question your boy out here like that. I said, no. <laughs> is he gonna swing me down? Wow, yes, yeah, this, this is literally the eternal corridor. It's not joking. That's not true. They changed the palette. All right, so the lighting swapped. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They gave a guy a week and a bunch of palettes and a bunch of color palettes. They said, alright, mix it up. I can't tell if that devil caught you or not. That's what I wanted him to think. <laughs> you think it's you that's got me, but it's actually me that's got me. It's kind of six feet under right now, Ashley. Because uh -huh. I took him out. <laughs> oh, I'm just keeping this up. That's right. Proud of you, man. Hey, while we're taking this moment, make uh, desktop audio minus 15. There we go. So I think I'm just going to try to keep going until I die because I don't have any more. Yeah. Uh... Resurrection yeah. items. Now you have a bunch of yeah. excellent booze for the infinite corridor. But none of the magic roots will keep you alive. You plan like I do, darling. The yeah, booze is you. cheaper than the life. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. I, I'm doing my best. You mean I can buy 12 bottles of this liquor? I <laughs> didn't say that. I I didn't say that. Sign me up for the bottle, maestro. Shots, 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 shots. Everybody. Uh, I can't believe he didn't even have an earth move. Did I know that? I don't even know if I knew that. <laughs> it's like, this is some like foreign concept to me. 
Which one you flat foot slide me? I heard a lot of SpongeBob jokes today. I gotta stop that. Why? SpongeBob's great. Speaking of SpongeBob. I'm not eating on SpongeBob, so I need to bring my own stuff into the mix. That's fair. Here's my tight five for today's stream. What's the deal with bad jokes? It's like you're listening to Tim Allen and suddenly you realize, wow, he's terrible. <laughs> hmm. Hey, actually, not to get political, but um, what do you want? why are we not having hamburgers for dinner? That requires cooking and time that I do not have. <laughs> <laughs> this is also because we have to use loaf bread for buns. My body is tired. I have run through the gauntlet today. You I'm have sitting here, but it's not what I was looking for. You helped me set a door. Yeah, I did. I really didn't do too much work with that. It was mostly like cutting the grass, trimming the hedges. Picking up glass out of the yard where someone had broken a bottle at some point. It was not us. It was green and clear glass. So I don't even know what it could have been. Was it radium glass? No. It was one... <sighs> shit. One big piece of green glass <laughs> and tiny bits around it. So I'm... Somebody must have had like a Heineken at some point, I guess. Who among us has not been there? I don't know if should have had Heineken before. Bad. Am I missing anything? No. So, I guess I can't catch things here? Guess not. Which is fine. So I guess that's really the whole point of the internal corridor, is you just keep fighting and fighting and fighting until you make it the whole way in one run. Oh. Oh. Which is like Hades. Like, if I die, it sends me back, and then I... So they put a roguelike in this. Okay. Yeah. Sort of, kind of. Well, it really didn't cost me anything, so I think this might be a new area, or it's just the same map pieces from the forest. They just Got changed it. the ambient foliage. Right. I don't know. Just guessing. Haha. <laughs> Being silly. <laughs> so, no, while I can't capture any of these, I can level up. Amazing. Right. Which kind of sucks. What if I need them to like get stronger <laughs> or get new abilities? I figure I'll play for at least another 13 minutes so we can round the stream up to an hour and then I will tell Merrick about what's coming up next because nobody else is here. It's fine. You don't know that. The plan may change. Yeah, I do. I have one viewer. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong You're with that. You're being very rude to the people watching the archive right now. I mean, I love that, but that's an assumption. Hey, person watching this archive currently. Hi, how are you in 2024? Is it good? Hope so. Uh, anyway, if you can say oh, hi, oh what's up? God. Oh, God. Oh. It's a baby. Why didn't you warn us about the uh, the giant stone baby turtle? Well, I think when I told you when I was looking at what I needed to do to potentially beat this game, after not having to, it was like level 35 or something crazy was full grown minion, and I was like, what? So I beat the I beat the game with teenagers. What are you telling me? What is this? Break legs with accuracy. Come on now. But now I think about it, he does look pretty big. This game's pretty big. He's the biggest. Nice. Oh yeah, that's a nice hit.
Oh man, I'm getting tired. But don't do it. I don't want to. I just want to beat up some minions. That just sounds wrong. Jeez, I don't need to do that. Oops. Yeah, there's a lot of water guys in this area. I don't know if it's because it's like a blue-toned area. I don't know. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get weird. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do some stuff, see what happens. That's fun. That's my one thing. I don't I don't know if there was a way to increase the the power of like there's that water spell that heals your minions. I don't know if there was a way to do that. If there was a higher spell in that or not, I don't know. Right. If there was, that would have been great. Would have been real useful. Mm. I just realize how similar these guys look. Minus the fangs. <laughs> this was just such a cool game, though, because the transformations really were, like, original. Yes. Depending on how you spawned people, that's what you got. It was like, wow, that's pretty interesting. Oh well. We got about eight minutes fine. to see what happens. Oh, Ticker. He's pretty cool looking. You know what? Let's pull out escape. That's fine. Hey, Stardust! Welcome, welcome. I fully beat the game earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> How could you betray Daisy like that? Oh wow, I wish I could do like a dance and summon boulders to crush my enemies. Twice in a row. Wow, that's just rude, jeez. That would be just the bee's knees. Because I just headbutt this guy into oblivion. As you should. As you should. Nice. Alright. Yeah, we're just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never driven in Boston. Actually, have I even... I've never been to Boston. I'd I've like to go. Been. What? I've never been in Boston. You've voiced someone in Boston. That's different. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, the paycheck's a lot lighter. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Don't. Nice. Our folk on the street, Daisy, with, with the biting commentary on what's going down in Boston. Oh, oh God. Don't be there. Kind of like the Infinite Corridor. Her name's Levant. Holy crap. Yeah. No joke there. Jesus. Is taking your life in your hands. Oh, it's just like driving in Florida. Got it. Got it. You're like, oh, wow, there's wide open spaces. Just enough for my car to go in a ditch gate. You can buy an alligator. Bet. Wide open spaces. Asked a friend once why driving in Boston so bad. She said using her blinker was a sign of weakness. I laughed and she didn't. Mm. See, the difference with me would be like, I'd use it and still do what I was gonna do. Here's a warning! Kinda like driving in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. 
I'm just letting you know, but I'm still gonna do it whether you're ready or not. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, all these creatures in the woods are just these crazy amalgamations of... I don't, I don't know. Forest experiments gone awry. I really hate the panic. Who was dead? That sucks. Right! Like, I hate, like, people not using a blinker drives me insane. Like, I've seen so many people just driving, like, balls out when I'm going to work. And my work commute really isn't difficult. But there is the very end section, literally, that my workplace sits on is a nightmare. People treat it like it's a NASCAR raceway. It's just like, oh! All right, well, that was Jay Cocoon. Talk about traffic, gonna get bopped in the jaw. Well, yeah, I got to the third area. That's not bad. And it's really only because they cheated. I was really kind of wondering, like, what was the point of this game trying to make me spend, what was it, like, $20,000 on a weapon? <laughs> but it, uh... I guess because this is this stuff after it. Yeah. Oh. People honk at you for not breaking traffic laws. Mm. See, and that's just how you start giving people the bird. But if you do that in the South, you get shot. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. There's no right answer. Literally, uh, the exit I used to take to get home when we lived in Mississippi, some dude got road rage so bad, he f like pulled out his pistol and shot at the guy on the interstate next to him. I was like, oh my God. Holy Mad Max. And of course, they veered off the interstate and into the exit and almost hit people because, you know, they were trying to get shot. I was like, oh my god. I had someone laying on the horn because I refused to drive in oncoming traffic. Nah, look. See, okay, but this is my petty self. I just sat there longer just to spite them after that. <laughs> I really would. Yeah, and that's real talk. That actually happened. If I can find the article, I'll send it. <laughs> It's it's fun living in the South. That's a word I can definitely say out loud. It's the South. That's the explanation. They they're they're mad. We're mad already. Mm -hmm. So it's just the last straw. And look, that was before the pandemic. That was so five years ago. Oh God, was it? I don't know. I think it happened too. God, it was. Yeah, that was like five years ago. Yeah. Oh, I do fully. There's one part of my commute that's two lane road, and the speed limit's 55, but I go 60. I mean, like, I'm not going so slow, and I'm not going too fast. Like, for me, I've left to get to work on time. If you guys are late, that's your freaking problem. I should have to speed because you're late. That's not my fault. Right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Speed racers. I do! Like, by the time I get to the four-lane part of that commute, I might have, like, four or five cars behind me. And they're just, like, blazing at, like, 70 miles per hour. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, There's the speed limit does yeah. increase, but they're even going faster than 70 at that point. And I'm just like... Y'all do realize there's... So there's, like, a forestry station, and the state trooper's office are on this same road. So it's like... Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, my friends. That ain't me. That ain't me. Right. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So I can give you two an update. Uh. Now that we're like at the end of this game, I might mess around with this just for funsies, trying to get through the eternal corridor. I don't know if there's anything extra at the end of that. I really don't know. So maybe that could be fun. Um. But next weekend. The other option on the poll I did, god, it was back in like, two months ago. Whenever I started playing Jake Cocoon and streaming it, right. of the other options, the other option was Dude, Where's My Home World, which translates to Chrono Cross. And not long after I did the poll, it came out that they were doing like HD remake. Yep. Not quite a, I wouldn't say a remaster because it's a whole game, but. No. Uh, since Chrono Cross is coming out, I was like, oh my god, this is a great time 
I was gonna play it next anyway, and it really just kind of happened to be the same weekend I'm gonna end up playing it next weekend is when it comes out, so... Um, to anticipate that, I bought a new headset to try to play. Uh, what's gonna happen is if I test it out and I can't get it to work... Uh, I had to play that in the living room on the PS4. And broadcast through Twitch that way. If I can't get that to work, can't play the new hotness, um... I'll just play it on the emulator here on the computer, like the original Chrono Cross, like I had originally planned. So that way, you're still getting Chrono Cross, it just might not be the great new, pretty the fun stuff. Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I don't remember the emulator looking bad when I checked on it not too long ago. Oh, it looks good. Uh, if I look around, there might be um, a fan patch for the graphics I can look into. We'll see, see if there isn't. I mean, it's still a great looking game. Oh, yeah. For the time, it still looks good. I don't hate on it. Um, I have a radar detector to tell when cops are around, so I go like 15 above or... Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> when I was in college, one of my good friends, uh, she had one of those too. But I remember, <laughs> she's like, yeah, my dad told me to like rip it off the dash and throw it in the floorboard. If it starts to go off in case they see it. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. It's not good. And then it's like, what if they pull you over in anyway and they see it? And it's like, what is that, ma'am? Nothing? None of your business? <laughs> you got a warrant? <laughs> but yeah, I will always drive at least a speed limit. It's when I get to stuff where it's like 65 and people are going 50 that I just want to like rip my head off and throw it against the wall. <laughs> well, I just don't understand it. They're not, they're not like towing heavy machinery. Because I get you have to go slow for that. And they're not a giant truck. It's literally like a car. They don't have a handicap tag or anything, a plate that I can see. They're just slow. And they're just making me mad at 7.30 in the morning. Oh my god, the wire's just ripping it out and <laughs> slapping it down. Um, so yeah, so next Sunday, in anticipation of Chrono Cross, um, that's what we'll be starting to play. And it's really one of my favorite games, the soundtrack. Oh my god. It is so good. Like, I'm actually... I didn't tell... I didn't tell Jesse this. I'm contemplating buying a record player just so I can buy the vinyl of the music that's coming out. Just because I'm like, man, I bet that feels interesting. It's a different music experience, right? But, yeah. We're pretty stoked. I'm stoked. I think I'm, I would like it to be a little more interactive. And I'm hoping by playing the new game and having Twitch telling people I'm playing it, I might get a little more audience. Because I, I just want to keep playing some retro JRPGs. Because these are the games I like to play. And it's stuff that a lot of people that are younger that might not even have heard of before. So it's just something different. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like it so that you guys help me make decisions on which direction to go. Like, I'll, the whole game has a plot, but you can go different ways to proceed. So, like, depending on how you break into the manor at the beginning of the game depends, you know, which characters you unlock for your party. So it's like, oh, God. I'm putting the power of God into your hands. I really am. Because if you guys get me characters that suck, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> I'm going to make you choose the worst ones. Oh. Like, bony. Did you, talk? you leave Skelly alone. I freaking oh, love Skelly. Skelly. That poor dude. He's literally just pieces all over the place. Literally. You have to connect, like, I think it's like five pieces of him. Because he, his mom. So, all right. So, I'm going to tell you the whole deal about Skelly that I remember. So. Just giving away the entire cow without the milk, eh? Just, just one character out of, like, 50. They're already in it. God. Um. Uh, so, in Termina, which is like the, the first major city you get to go to... Okay. Uh... You... can go into one of the houses there, and there's an older woman. And she's blind. Mm -hmm. She's an older lady. She can't see very well. And she's like, oh yeah, my son like ran off to go to the circus. And I never heard from him again. I just... And it's been like years that she's always worried about him. She never knew if he was okay or not. Well, that's Skelly. He did. He's super dead. Oh. Um, but if you get all his bone parts mm -hmm. around and put them back together, he'll turn it into a skelly. 
So he's basically a skeleton wearing clown makeup and like a little top hat and some frilly sleeves and ankles and shoes and all that. So um, you can take him to go see his mom and he'll let her know that he's okay. Oh. And she can rest in peace then. And he travels the party with the thank you. She doesn't die, but it's, her having right. that closure is important. So I think she knows he's probably not. You have nothing but skin and bones, my boy. Yeah, I think. She, right. Yeah, if I remember right, I got the feeling that she knew like something was up. But being able for him to say like, yeah. "I'm okay," you yeah. don't have to worry about me. It's important. Okay, all that to say. Well, that's <laughs> super cheerful note. Yeah. <laughs> Not to harsh the mellow. Um, I'm just gonna keep up my at least three to five schedule. I freaking love Chrono Cross, so there's a good chance I will play longer than, uh, yeah, okay, but dead. <laughs> He's chilling with me and saving the world, so, like, it could be worse. He He's could got just, a job. I could just bury him alive, or undead, oh. whatever that, yeah, mm. whatever that looks like. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep to at least 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time, but given how long I've been waiting to play Chrono Cross, because Jesse's never played it, he's... He's played Chrono Trigger and loves it. I have played Chrono Trigger. I didn't beat it. But I, I'd like to pick it back up again and try to fix that at some point. But um, Chrono Cross is what I got to play. So that's why it's dear to me. And I'm hoping to share that with him going forward. Nah. <laughs> anyway. Um, thanks for joining us today. Hit me up on the Twitter. I have another poll going on for what to play after Chrono Cross. I guess I'm gonna announce it at some point this week to everybody else that we're playing Chrono Cross going forward, so. Um, but the two options, and I jacked up the second one, I totally picked the wrong game, but it's fine. Uh, it's Spirit Dragons. Versus. Yeah, versus uh, Sis's Millennium Puzzle. So they're vague on purpose. Try to come up with something interesting. And y'all just pick whichever one sounds cool and I go for it. And we're like, we're done. <laughs> Yes, y'all have a great afternoon too. Let's try. Okay, bye. <laughs>